We're going to transition to something else from politics back to what we discussed earlier, the feud between Nancy Pelosi and a group of progressive Democrats earlier in the show. Well, President Trump is again weighing in this morning with some racially charged language. I want to read this to you. It says, quote, so interesting to see progressive Democrat congresswomen who, who originally came from countries whose governments are a complete and total catastrophe, the worst, most corrupt and inept anywhere in the world, if they have a function in government at all, now loudly and viciously telling the people of the United States, the greatest, most powerful nation on earth, how our government is to be run. Why don't they go back and help fix the totally broken and crime infested places from which they came, then come back and show us how it's done? These places need your help badly. You can't leave fast enough. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi would be very happy to work out free travel arrangements. All right, let's, let's set one fact first. There's one congresswoman in this progressive group that comes from outside the United States that was a migrant, has a, a very uh, kind of impressive story of coming to the United States of America. That's Ilhan Omar. The rest of the progressive congresswomen were born in the United States. I have no idea what on earth he's talking about other than it seems very out of line. But Bender, you cover the White House, you yeah. understand the president. What? what? Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure. I obviously haven't uh, been sitting here on set while this tweet came out. Um, but you, you can see where this is going to go. It's going to go in a, a number of of different ways. For one, you mentioned Rep. Omar. Rep. Omar is from Somalia. This goes. Somalia was on the list of Muslim uh, uh, of Muslim majority countries that Trump wanted to ban immigrants from. That'll certainly be a part of the story. Um, you know, to 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 try to look at it from the eyes of the Oval Office right now in the Resolute Desk. Uh, this is one way Trump Trump has wanted to solve some of these immigration issues by going back to the countries of origin. Uh, I'm talking specifically about the, the caravans coming up through uh, Central America and, and, and Mexico. He's wanted the co countries like Guatemala and Honduras to handle these problems uh, within their own borders. Um, but uh, that is going to be um, uh, definitely uh, overshadowed by just what you're talking about, the, the sort of the racially charged aspect here of, of what sounds like go back where you came from. Yeah, and, and look, it's She's an Amer Ilhan Omar is an American citizen. She was elected by the constituents in her district. There are a lot of issues, obviously, some that have been problematic inside her own party uh, that she's had. But come on, man. 